Hey folks, it's Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. Gonna be working on the driveway a little bit today. It's golden hour, the sun's setting, it's beautiful, and we've gotta move a little bit of gravel around because the gravel truck is coming in the morning. We've got two more loads of gravel. That'll be 32 more tons of gravel to put on the driveway tomorrow. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get on the skid loader, and we're gonna spread out some of these little piles that we have, and then we're gonna get on the tractor and take the scrape blade, and we're gonna move around some rock and try and utilize as much of this rock as we possibly can before we dump our next load. All right, so come along, we'll have a little bit of fun. to do is move this pile right here and take it down to the corner right here so we can round that corner off a little bit nicer. The big part is hooking up the tractor to the scrape blade and pulling the scrape blade in the appropriate manner. So we want to pull gravel toward the center of the driveway a couple times. We'll zip back and forth, pull that gravel in, and then knock the top off and then level it out nicely. I've been running around this farm just chasing them chickens that are running along me. I've been running around this farm just chasing the chickens that are running along, yeah. Cause we got goats, we got pigs, and we got chickens. Goats, pigs, and chickens. Goats, pigs, and chickens. So here's what happens when you procrastinate. The sun's going down. It looks bright out here, but it's getting dark. So the sun's going down. It's time to put up the equipment. I'm going to go ahead and get the tractor ready. First thing in the morning, we'll get up bright and early. We'll finish this video up, but I'm going to go ahead and park the skid loader and go up and get the tractor and get everything ready. Last night, I went and got the tractor and I did a little bit of scraping. And basically what we've done here is I've got my blade on the tractor turned at a very sharp angle to pull the rock up from the side. See the angle of the blade? It's ever so slightly tilted downward right there so that when I go, it pulls gravel into the driveway. You can look down the drive. It's starting to take shape a little bit better. You might not be able to see it right there too good, but the gravel truck's coming up. We've got two more loads of rock coming here and we've got to go get our Massey Ferguson 240 and we're gonna hook up the box scrape to it and we're gonna dig down in a little bit. We're gonna just rework the driveway make it nice make it right we're on day two here i'm gonna go get that tractor here's the fun part here's the part where i unravel the mysteries for you what we've got to do is resurface refinish the driveway and spread out this pile here and just do a little bit of work we'll use both tractors one tractor will be used with the box blade to break up and loosen up the gravel the next tractor will be used to pull the gravel in to make it humped up in the middle to give it a crown on the driveway. And we need to fix areas like this right here with the box scrape. So what I'm gonna do is just let you watch it work as I move, okay? So we're gonna see what happens when the box scrape goes over this rough, worst, one of the worst areas in the driveway right here. It just makes everything look like a dream. And let me take you back and I'll show you what the box blade does. So this is a box blade and you see these little tines on here, they're called tines. They're actually rippers. Okay, so those dig down into the ground if I had them deployed, but I don't have them deployed. I've got them in the up position because I don't want to dig down into the gravel yet. I don't want to do that today. Maybe next fall, maybe next spring we'll do that. We'll get down there and dig. And if you get a pothole in your driveway, that's how you get it out. You dig with that ripper and then come back over it with the box blade and that'll smooth it out and help prevent the pothole from coming back. So the box blade apparatus here has to be set level, both level side to side 
and level front to back. So that's something that you need to know about. That's how you set your box blade up. Then you set it down to the point where it barely touches the ground and you go about an inch below that. And that's what I do anyway. I go about an inch below that and that picks up the gravel and turns it from this and grooms it like a ski slope, just like that. It just grooms it out pretty. And we'll just keep riding and keep grooming until we get the driveway just like we want it. I hope you enjoy this. This is gonna be a good tutorial on building a driveway and using a box blade. So let's get busy, let's have some fun. Educational farm stuff. It's not all fun and lawnmowers launching off the back of trucks. It's actually fun and educational. Crazy talk. Break down, put her in low. Going in third gear, rev her up. Going, draft. There. Crash the drone again, dude. My drone, when it goes out, it kind of likes to drift. So when I steer it left to right, it doesn't just steer. It kind of steers and drifts. Drifted right on into the tractor building down here. Bummer. Everything's looking good. And I wanted to give you a little bit of the science behind all this. Once we get all the gravel loosened up, we'll take the scrape blade on this tractor. Go over it one more time with this blade here. And that'll have our driveway just perfect. Awesome. It's a little obsessive, but it's going to look wonderful. So not only is there farm work to do, there's road work to do, there's plowing stuff to do, there's tilling the garden to do, there's honeybees, there's chickens, there's goats, there's grass to plant. We got the bulldozer coming probably two weeks or so. We'll have a bulldozer over here clearing this land and you can see where it looks rough. There's just a lot going on. or so on the tractor here and I'll show you what we got this is the crowned up driveway okay so I've taken from each side here and I've raked it all up and now I'm gonna go and do my final what I call my glaze my final glaze coat and what we'll do is we'll adjust the blade on the tractor to be straight as an arrow and leveled this way and tilt it out ever so slightly that way almost like taking a paintbrush and brushing down the driveway all the way down right through here and that's the final step so let's adjust the blade i'll show you what we do here pull these first two pins there's one there's the other one we take the blade all the way to the straight position here this pin here comes out i'll grab here Tension off, pull it in, all the way straight. Now, your blade doesn't have to be perfectly level with a level. It just needs to be level with the plane of the tractor, okay? So, if we look at it right here, it's pretty darn close to level with the plane of the tractor. There's a little adjustment on the right right there, and if I need to adjust it, I can turn that out or in to bring the blade that way or that way pretty cool that's how hooking any implement up to the tractor is you hook it up and you only adjust one arm to get your implement straight really will only have to drag maybe twice down the road and that's your finish it's done stop digging in it you can dig in your gravel too much and make a big mess
So from here we just take the scrape blade flat and we'll smooth out all this stuff. And what you can't see is that it's really rough and ridgy and we'll just ride over it with the tractor probably up and down the driveway maybe two more times and then around this new stuff probably five times. Get it all cleaned up, get it looking pretty. Now, if you want to laugh, I was looking in the mirror last night and I told my wife, I said, man, my hair is really thinning out on the top. So last night I did a little prank on my wife and I went in the bathroom, took a shower, and I came out like this. <laughs> she didn't notice for like 45 minutes and then she looked over at me and was like, what? Looked like an old man, I guess. Probably am an old man now. Thanks a lot, guys. Come on back and see me on the Stony Ridge Farm. Maybe you can learn a little bit. All right. Click that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and come on back to the Stony Ridge and see me, okay? Talk to you soon. Oh, we still have t-shirts. Just so you know, this is the I Support Veteran Farmer Stony Ridge shirts, and they'll be in the video description. We'll only have them for about eight more days, I believe, maybe six. Jump on them while you can if you want a Stony Ridge Farmer t-shirt. That helps me a lot, too, so if you want to give back, that's a way you can give back. Talk to you soon. Well, come on down to the Stony Ridge, bring your wife and